Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Virgo. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I'm sending all of you love and light always. As usual, this will be a general collective reading. So this will not resonate with every Virgo and it will not resonate with every Virgo cross watcher. So please take what resonates and leave the rest. I am not offering personal readings at this time, guys, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. You can find the links in the description box. And just take a, a moment to read through the description box in general, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Virgo. What does my Virgo collective need to know? Two, oh, all right. <laughs> Two of Swords. The Star. Five of Cups. Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords. So we have Aquarius. We have Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have Nine of Pentacles here. I just said Hurt, Taurus. Three of Wands. And let's see. The Chariot, Cancer Energy. Ten of Cups on the back of the deck. Somebody was unable to see, but now they see. Somebody was not seeing something clearly, but now they see the truth or they they have clarity about something here. Somebody's wishing and hoping that you're still single or that you're not with somebody, that you're not committed to somebody. They regret making you wait or they regret not maybe progressing this fast enough. They regret... Maybe focusing on the past too much, things that went wrong. Queen of Pentacles, the Chariot. I feel like you, what are you, you guys are very determined. Some of you guys could be dealing with another earth sign, but I feel like you guys are very determined to do something or you're very determined to have that happily ever after, that family, that ha that fulfillment that you desire. You guys have been dealing with somebody that isn't your equal. This person is very immature. They're very unestablished. They're very um, unstable. They are a player. They don't want to settle down. I see that they've been causing a lot of turmoil. They've been they've been uh, lowering your vibration to some degree. You know what I mean? Like being around this person is like their negative energy is leeching onto you. It's kind of knocking you off of your, your throne a little bit, guys. Or it's like being with this person would be like being or what when you were with this person or being with this person looks like it would be very negative to you your well-being to your success to you to you overall and everything unfortunately or that's how it was when you were with this person all right or the people that you've been encountering i just see a two people that weren't ready Two of Swords. Ghosting. Somebody was confused. Somebody could have got blocked, ghosted and blocked. But somebody's like maybe reopening communication here. Or somebody was confused to why somebody cut them off, disappeared out of their life out of nowhere, rejected them. They felt like they had no closure. Why they stopped speaking to them. All right, tell me more about ghosting. Yeah, it's like somebody ghosted another person and ended a relationship with them, but like didn't end it the right way. They just ghosted them. Okay. Um, tell me about the King of Swords. Children. What about children? Poor health. Somebody's realizing that something that happened to them as a child is causing them to deal with some mental health issues now. Or somebody's realizing something, let's see here, about their childhood. I think it's something about their childhood. They're realizing that that is the reason why they are the way they are. You guys are realizing that about this person, that they went through some type of trauma or something and they have some mental health issues in, you know, that are an effect of whatever happened to them as a child. The star. Somebody needs to spend some time alone and focus on he healing themselves. 
somebody that, that's what i'm saying i see two people that aren't ready i feel like you and this person both need to spend some time alone and not be with anybody crystal ball and it's like you guys kind of have an inner knowing about that that's the key to your happiness that's the key to things going better for you in the future is spending some time single yeah maybe focusing on a creative venture focusing on yourselves and focusing on your passions your hobbies being more expressive like you know being more um in tune with your emotions so that you can express them and being confident enough to express those feelings and emotions yeah be it's like spirit says they want you to keep an open mind and go with the flow and the flow may be guiding you to be single at this time all right it's like you guys are maybe desiring to make something official with somebody but It's like you being with this person, you started neglecting yourself. You started not practicing self-care and self-love, and that's not good. Hmm. Five of Cups. It's like somebody was very sad, regretful over something, and then all of a sudden, somebody has like a realization about something here is what it seems like. It's like somebody was sad over something, but now somebody's having like a sudden realization that something happened for their highest good, that something did not move forward. Somebody did not commit to them. Somebody did not marry them, that it was the best thing for them. Okay. Because Spirit was saying that like being with this person, we were compromising your worth. You guys didn't deserve better or you could do better. And it's actually a gift that this didn't work out between you and this person. Three of wands, three of wands, three of wands. What's that about? Learning. It's like the truth is manifesting here. It's like you're going to be seeing the truth of a person or a situation and understanding why something happened the way that it did. Learning the lesson here. The world. Yeah, why something ended or why something didn't. Why a cycle had to come to a close. And then it's like once you come to that realization, then it's time for fulfillment to manifest for you. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Fragmented. It's like you guys are a little bit confused. Let's see. Coldness. It's like you, I see that you guys have a lot of options, but it may not be any, any one that you're interested in, or it may not just be the person that you desire. I see that here. Or it's like, if you feel like your love life, life has been blocked, you feel like there's been an absence of love and options. I see like options flooding to you. All right. It's like, once you choose to do what's best for your highest good and align more with your higher self, raise your vibration become more connected to the divine then all these options and people will start flocking to you the chariot what's up with my virgos the devil it's like and what's that what's serendipity yeah it's like the divine has their hand in this situation, guys. Yeah, look at the single life on the back of the deck. Spirit's wanting you to be single or like they're wanting you to take some time to be single, not with anyone. Spirit is saying that if you would have teamed up with this person, it could be a business venture for some of you or it could be a relationship that this would have been toxic. It wouldn't have been what you wanted it to be. It would not have manifested into what you desired it to be. It wouldn't have gone, it, was, it would not have gone in your favor. So the divine intervened here on your behalf. And it's like they kind of like put a roadblock in this situation. It's like it was divine redirection. That's I don't know how else to put it. So what do they need to know about this person, this situation with this person? What else do they need to know? Secrets. This person was hiding things from you or you guys didn't have all the facts. There were hit, hitting, hidden factors. I feel like you guys didn't realize that the divine was blocking this or that they were trying to show you that this was not for your highest good at some point. Um, let's see. Yeah, Spirit's saying that, you know, once you leave this person behind, you're going to go through a very powerful transformation. And um, it's something here about you've been like maybe holding in or harboring some feelings and emotions that need to be released as well. Because it's like, it's heavy, you know. Um, they're wanting you to focus on work and business. If some of you guys, some of you guys are business owners. All right. They're wanting you to focus on career success. Just focus on your money, saving money and healing. Yeah. Shedding, letting go of the past, shedding the old, shedding the things that no longer serve you and focus on healing and money and career. And that's what's going to be what's going to open the door to a better future for you. It's going to, you're finally going to be gaining that clarity during that time. You're finally going to find all, a solution to all of the problems that you've been dealing with. And it's like things that you thought would never be possible for you are going to be possible. Okay. I see someone new coming in for you guys. 
this person's being divinely guided to you or you're being divinely guided to each other all right and i feel like it's going to be a very intense connection here um but you're definitely going to be getting clarity and you're going to be seeing the truth of some things here but yeah definitely i definitely see somebody new coming towards you and it being a very passionate connection all right um what is what do they need to know about this new person that's coming towards them it's going to require a risk. It's definitely going to be some out of your comfort zone. So it could be somebody that you're not, that's not your usual type. Um, it may just be feel uncomfortable to be getting into a relationship. That's not this per this toxic person that you've been dealing with. So spirit is saying that it's going to be definitely outside of your comfort zone and it's going to require a leap of faith here, but spirit wants you to know that they're protecting you that, um, you know, yeah, that they're, they're with you. They're protecting you. They wouldn't, you know, guide this person to you if it, they, you know, it wasn't good for you, but I definitely see that this is going to require a risk when this person comes towards you. All right. But anyways, um, I hope that this reading resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you take something from this reading. I am not offering personal readings at this time, but don't forget to like and or follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. But other than that, I hope you guys have a good rest of your week and I will talk to you soon. Bye guys.